Um, this is a uh, 68 Chevrolet pickup with a three speed on the column, and it's out of adjustment. I don't know if you can see, but right here, there's a lot of room between here. See, this slides over, catches the next one, and puts it up in the next gear. Now, if you were to just try to shift it right now and you didn't fully engage that, you would jam it, which is the problem with these three speed on columns. You jam it in between gears and you got to pull over, try to fix it, try to figure out you know, what's going on. Well, I'm going to show you how to take the slack out of this and put these closer together so that doesn't happen. Also, I'll show you how to align these in neutral so that it will shift easier between these two actuators. Now, the first thing to do, the first thing to do is to take a 7 16th uh, socket ratchet and you'll need to loosen this bolt. That don't have to be taken all the way off. These really don't have to be taken all the way out. But there's one here and there's one underneath here. After you get those loosened up enough or they'll move, then what you want to do, see this is made on a, well I'll show you here. This out. After you get that bolt out, then this whole thing come off. Be sure to spray this down really good with like WD-40 or PB Blaster or something like that. Uh, if your truck is anything like mine, it's been rusty for years like this. Now, after this thing comes off and gets out of the way, you're going to want to align everything in neutral. Now you want to make sure that your shifter is in neutral on the inside. And then you're going to want to take a screwdriver that will just fit through this hole right here, through there, and through the other one. Now see, it goes through, but it had to force it. See? Okay, that means I need to loosen this up. Because that should just slide right through. I need to loosen this up. Right here. This is the second and third gear selector. After that's loosened, then need to figure out which way it needs to go. It needs to come up. So I'm going to take and put the extension through and just tap the end of it. Don't want to move it a whole lot because you want it to still be in neutral when your selector is in neutral. Okay, now without this in there, as you can see, it goes easily between the two. There's no jamming. But you can see there's still a lot of room in there. Okay, that's where this ring comes in. I know my bolts. Bolts. Put my rings back on here. Turn my rings.
may have to pull it up a little bit to align it. Where you can get your bowl in. Exactly like to go in and see, but that's okay. Play around with it enough, we'll get it to go around it. And at this point, you do not want to tighten these up yet. So I'm going to leave them a little loose. Tighten it all the way up. Now, I'm going to take, I use a long, a long extension. I'm going to take something and put it against this, just like that, and spin it. And as you can see when I spin it, this bolt is going through a cam system that actually is just an angled hole. They call it a cam. Um, as you spin that, it pushes these together, tightens them up. And you want to tighten it up so that it gets lined up and close enough that you can still, when you shift, you can still move back and forth, but there's not enough room for this piece to go through an empty slot. Let me get inside and work it and see what I'm talking about. I'll go through the gears. Okay, then we have first gear. Go up. Well, we're in first gear. And if we needed to go to second, we'd go up and it would shift easily in the second without jamming up. Now that we've got that figured out, huh. we can tighten this bolt up and that should do the entire adjustment and we should be good. Okay, well that, that's all for now. I uh, hope this helps somebody out that's having trouble with a three-speed uh, transmission. I looked on YouTube. I couldn't find anyone that had a video showing how to do this. And uh, I thought I would put one up to maybe help someone. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.